in relation to the decision, I think uh, in any case is a disgraceful decision. Uh, because if Man City is not guilty of it, I think to be punished with some some million is a disgrace as a decision. If you are not guilty, you are not punished. By the other way, if they are guilty, you should be banned. So it's also a disgraceful decision. So in any case, the decision is um, is a disaster. Because if you are not guilty, you don't pay. I'm not saying Man City is guilty. I'm saying if you are not guilty, you don't pay. You are not punished, even with a pound. Uh, I know that money for them is, is quite easy, but it's just a principle. Why you pay eight or nine million or whatever if you are not guilty? So if, you are not, if they are not guilty, the decision is a disgrace. If they are guilty, the decision is also a disgrace. Because if you are guilty, you should be banned from, from the competition. So my critic is not to, to Manchester City at all. I, I am nobody to criticize. I am nobody to, to know if they are guilty or if they are not guilty. My critic, of course, is for the decision power. What we have done this club in the last decade, it was what happened, it was on the pitch. I know that for the elite clubs, like here respectful clubs like Liverpool, Man United, and especially Arsenal, it's uncomfortable being here. But they have to understand what we deserve to be here if we want to compete with them. We want to go on the pitch and compete with them and try to achieve like they achieved in the past decades ago and what we have done this decade. We deserve to be stronger year by year. We try it. The incredible people working in this club, in this organization, they work incredible hard to do this club better, to make our fans proud for ourselves. And we, we don't have to ask permission to be there. We deserve to be there. And when we lose, I will shake my hand, of my opponent, my colleagues, and we congratulate him what we have done sometimes and fairly in the Champions League or in the Premier League, and we congratulate it, but we're, all the time we have done. It's simple as that. So, guys, accept it. We want to be here, and we try it. And on the pitch, we play as as, as much as possible, sometimes win, sometimes don't. But they have to understand it. And you are not agree, just knock the door for our chairmen or our CEOs and talk. Don't go from behind and whispering, we're going to do it, seven, eight, nine clubs doing this behind and do it what you have to do. Go, go and do it on the pitch. Let's go and try it. No, not behind. Because we can. This is not a club for 10 years. 10 years, we're making a step forward. We invest a lot of money, like a lot of clubs. But we did it these 10 years on the right thing. Because it was, we were being banned. And we are not banned because we follow the the rules for the financial fair plays or the rules for the UEFA or FIFA had decided to do. If done, we would be banned. We could not play. If we play, it's because we have we have done properly in the right way. That's why that's why we follow the rules. The UEFA, the UEFA dictate we have to do it. We do it, and the people have to understand. Understand right now that that uh, that we are here. We are here to try, you know, to, to compete uh, on the pitch in the same level and these elite clubs in the Premier League, but in Europe too. We can be here. The second part of my question was going to be about, obviously I saw you at Brighton, fabulous performance again there. You've now secured second place. And do you believe that going forward now, Bournemouth and the rest of the season, the rest of your talking you can do on the pitch for your players? Yeah, of course. Like we have done the last three or four years in every single game and every single competition. We're going to do respect on our opponents and try to beat them on the pitch. That we're going to do. The people cannot forget it. We were damaged. Our prestige and reputation, we were damaged. And accusations that now we show, we show uh, they were not true. So that's why there have to be people happy or, or people, uh, or at least I would say, the people should like, accept, you know, uh, because we should complain and no complain. So the other ones should don't say much more on this. I have absolutely, I, I, I've, I don't wish anybody anything bad. And stuff. As I said, I'm, I'm happy that City can play Champions League, but um, I don't think it was a good day for football yesterday, to be honest, just because um, 
um, I think FFP is a, is a good idea. It's there for protecting teams, protecting the competition. Um, that was the, the idea in the, in the start that um, nobody overspends, stuff like this, that pay, the clubs can, before the season, um, can um, have to make sure that the money they want to spend is, um, is based on the right sources, let me say like this. Um, and I'm on top of that, I come from Germany. I'm educated in a completely different system. Um, the majority of my life, we have, we have a, a different club, we have different club structures. Um, that's a, a club, really club structure and not owner-based um, system. So for me, we, we never probably Germany, as long as they have stick to that system, they never will have these kind of problems. Um, it's just clear where you get the money from um, before the season. You get your license. If you don't get the license, then you can, can't be part of the competition. That's, uh, maybe you know that this licensing system in Germany. So it makes it slightly difficult, but um, yeah, I think really FFP is a good idea. And, um, but I don't know. I don't know if anybody of you knows more. I read a little bit about um, the, the, the judgment or the, the verdict, whatever, um, what they said, why it was like it was, and how I said, it's not, a, it's not up to me. Um, to, to judge this, and I don't. Um, I only think um, this FFP frame, which is for all of us, we all should stick to. That's that's all I, I can say. That's what, what rules are for. And I really hope that um, FFP stays just because um, it gives at least kind of um, uh, li like borders where you can go to but not over it. And um, I think that's good for football. Honestly, if we start if we start doing that, nobody has to care anymore at all, and the richest people or countries can do what they want in football. That would make the competition really difficult, and I think that would lead automatically then in kind of a, a world super league with like ten clubs, and um, I don't know exactly the clubs. It depends then not to the name of the clubs; it depends to the people who own the clubs um, and then they can play against each other just but i think it makes sense that we have these kind of rules but about the the the, the case from yesterday or the the the, the, um, the judgment from yesterday i don't know enough or i didn't understand it properly um why it uh, why this was the judgment i don't know well then there's no question about what happens they completely deserve to be in champions league because what they've done on the pitch is unquestionable and then the regulators have looked at it and have decided that they haven't done anything wrong. So you have the two aspects that are really clear and transparent and they're going to be in Champions League because they deserve for what they do in the pitch and what they do outside the pitch.